Hi, in this session we will discuss allegations in mixture. Allegations in mixture is application of weighted average and ratios. The kind of questions that we have solved in linear equation, we can solve it with the help of allegations also. There are various types of questions which we will encounter where application of allegations in mixture will be helpful to us. Let us look at first type of question. The first type of question is mean price concept. Now, if we have to mix two quantities which are of different prices in order to arrive at a particular average price, in that case we are supposed to find out what will be the ratio in which we will mix these two quantities. Let us take an example in order to understand this concept. The example here is that we have two types of rices. One is basmati rice, the other one is ordinary rice. There is the price of basmati rice is 44 rupees per kg and ordinary rice is 32 rupees per kg. Now we are supposed to mix this two and arrive at a mean price wherein I'll add 25% and sell the mixture at 45 rupees. So here 45 rupees is the selling price and this is where the trick is. We are supposed to identify the cost price of mixture first and then do the allegation and find out ratio in which we will mix two quantities of rice. So first our approach should be to find out the average cost price. If 45 rupees is the selling price and I am making 25% profit, what should be my cost price? The cost price can be derived as 36 because on 36 if you add 25% it will be 9 and 36 plus 9 will get you 45. Now here my average price is 36. My cost price of a dearer product which is basmati rice is 44 rupees and cost price of cheaper product which is ordinary rice is 32 rupees. If I mix them in a ratio 1 is to 2, I will get my average price as 36. Look at the graph in which the allegation has been used. You will be arrived at the values of uh, the ratio 1 is to 2 in the format by using the graph. 44 minus 36 will get you 8 and 32 minus 36 is minus 4 which can be represented in the modulus format as 4 and 8 is to 4 will give you 2 is to 1. So 4 is for 44 and 8 is for 32 hence the ratio 1 is to 2. In the question it is mentioned that I have 25 kgs of ordinary rice. So here the amount of basmati rice should be half of ordinary rice that is 12.5 kilograms. The second type of question will be mixing the two mixtures. Now say for example if we have two alloys say alloy A and alloy B which has zinc and tin in the ratio 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 2 respectively and I am supposed to mix this two alloy and form a new alloy which has zinc is to tin in the ratio 9 is to 11. So what should be the ratio in which I should mix these two alloys that is A and B. Now if I try to represent this graphically Alloy A will have zinc is to 10 as the ratio 2 is to 3. So I can say the proportion of zinc in alloy A is 2 fifth and proportion of zinc in alloy B is 3 fifth and the proportion of alloy that I want in my mixture is 9 by 20. Now if I use allegation 2 by 5 is less than 9 by 20. So subtracting 2 by 5 from 9 by 20 I will get 1 by 20. Subtracting 9 by 20 from 3 by 5, I will get 3 by 20. So alloy A and alloy B will form a ratio 3 by 20 is to 1 by 20 and this can be further simplified as 3 is to 1. So if I mix 3 units of alloy A to 1 unit of alloy B, I will get the desired ratio in the new mixture that I am forming that is zinc and tin in the ratio 9 is to 11. Third type of question in allegation and mixture is when you ha already have a mixture and you are supposed to add pure uh, unit into that mixture. Say for example, we have 30 liters of milk and water mixture where milk and water is in the ratio 7 is to 3. 
that means water is 30% in that mixture. We are supposed to add pure water to this mixture and in such a way that the ultimate mixture that we get should have 40% water in it. Now, how do we go ahead and solve this? First mixture has 30% water and I am adding water to it. So water will be 100% water. What is the resultant mixture that I want? I want 40% water. So 30%, 100% and 40%. When I use the allegation method, I will get 100% minus 40% as 60% and 40% minus 30% as 10%. So 60 is to 10 or 6 is to 1 is the ratio in which we will get the ultimate uh, answer. Now 6 is to 1. We discussed that initially we had 30 liters of mixture. So if 30 liters is equal to 6, 1 will be how much? So that will be nothing but 5 liters. So we are supposed to add 5 liters to the mixture of 30 liters in order to produce 40% water in new mixture. So this were the most frequently asked concepts on allegations and mixtures. Thank you.